Uh, it's a very tough time uh, for these forces, uh, and in particular this year in R Ramadan, as it is known in most of the Muslim world, Ramadan fell in the middle of the fighting season. Uh, during some of the harshest time uh, for the climate in much of the region in which we fight. And so the, the daily pressures that are on some of these troops, compounded by the sacrifice associated with fasting, uh, the nature of our operational tempo, remembering that Afghan troops have gone to the field and they have stayed in the field, and they've been in, in combat now for years, uh, we believe that the, the combination of many of these particular factors uh, may have come together uh, during the last several weeks to generate the, the larger numbers that you point to. Uh, and so we're going to watch the outcome of Ramadan. We're going to look back hard upon our operational tempo, uh, the relationship of our security force uh, assistance uh, teams uh, with, the, with the Afghans. Uh, and see if there are any conclusions uh, that we can learn. I don't think at this juncture uh, that we need to pull back at that particular moment. I think we, in fact, as I said, have learned that the closer the relationship, uh, the more secure, ultimately, uh, our troops will be.